at the Manston Asylum Processing Centre in Kent as woke left-wing protesters were demanding that illegal migrants smuggled by human trafficking gangs across the channel should be housed at the expense of cash-strapped British taxpayers. You know, if I was there, I'd actually love to know. I'd ask every one of those protesters whether they are willing to lead by example and take one of the illegal migrants into their own homes, given we know thousands are brought to this country with the sole aim of entering crime rings, focused on prostitution, drugs and even terrorism. Meanwhile, the weak response by the UK means the inhumane people smugglers continue to feel emboldened as they ship more illegal economic migrants from Albania into the country on a daily basis. So the Sun revealed today one Albanian gang has launched an £11,000 per person package that guarantees, guarantees a 40-minute speedboat ride from Belgium with no risk of being incarcerated on arrival, with access to lawyers to help them avoid the camps or fast-track deportation, being all part of the offer. Now, that sick surface is again being advertised on the Chinese social networking app TikTok. Departure from France to the UK, £3,500 by dinghy. Departure from Europe to UK with documents and with a friend, £15,000. Route from Spain to England for only £6,000. 100% guaranteed. And the bill uh, for the catastrophic failure to control our borders continues to stack up too. With the Times revealing more than £3.7 million has been spent this past year on taxis, minivans and buses for asylum seekers, illegal migrants and unaccompanied minors. That, of course, adds to the £7 million a day being spent on accommodation, including many four- and five-star hotels. Now, of course, you know... I have been describing this situation as a national emergency for well over a year here on GB News. The solutions are obvious, uh, and they include turning back the boats and supercharging the Rwanda scheme, which will likely only be achieved if we leave the ECHR. But today, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak once again incorrectly put his faith in the French, misunderstanding that the worse this situation gets for the UK the better this is for the anti-Brexit Macron. So emerging from his meeting with the French president at COP27, Sunat made it clear uh, he hasn't found a solution. I think there is an opportunity for us to work closely, but not just with the French, but with other countries as well. But I'm actually leaving this with renewed confidence and optimism that working together with our European partners, we can make a difference, grip this challenge of illegal migration and stop people coming illegally. Look, we all want this situation to resolve itself as quickly as possible. I also want to be honest with people that it, it's, it's a complex issue. It, it doesn't, it's not one simple solution that's going to solve it overnight. I, I wouldn't be being honest if I said that there was. I am not reassured by his words, and that is why I once again implore Sunak to throw his weight behind the Home Secretary, Superwoman Suella Braverman, who I believe is the only Cabinet Minister with the bold vision to solve this crisis if, and it's a big if, if she is given the support to do so. As Suella wrote in the Mail on Sunday yesterday, it is not right that the British people are picking up a £2 billion bill every year because the asylum system has been broken by an unprecedented wave of illegal migration. We need to overcome all legal obstacles and get our Rwanda partnership working. We are defending it vigorously in the courts. If illegal migrants know that if they cross the channel, they will be swiftly transported to Rwanda or any other country we make an agreement with, the incentive to jump the queue will fall away. Many Albanians spuriously claim to be victims of modern slavery, despite paying thousands to come here. This is an abuse of our system that must stop. We must also wean ourselves off the use of expensive hotels. Britain is a generous and kind country. We always treat everyone in a humane way. But people who come here legally from safe countries are not welcome and should not expect to stay. 